Technology has facilitated the commission of sexual offenses, such as voyeurism, cyber flashing, distribution of intimate images, often referred to as uh, revenge pornography. And there has been an increase in such cases. These offenses are currently criminalized under the Films Act and Penal Code. We want to create specific offenses in the Penal Code to provide a proper framing for such offenses and adequate punishments. Voyeurism involves observation or recording of uh, someone doing a private act without the person's consent. Uh, some of the more commonly known forms of voyeurism include upskirting, down blousing. Recently, there's been a spotlight on these offenses because of the incident in NUS involving Mr. Nicholas Lim. These offenses are currently dealt with under insulting of modesty in the Penal Code and Film Sect. The current laws, in my view, do not adequately address the range of offenses, including voyeuristic recordings and the distribution of such material on the internet. So we propose to introduce specific offenses involving voyeurism, which will define the offending beha behavior and provide for adequate punishment. The proposals members know, as I said earlier this afternoon, well predate the incident involving Mr. Lim. In fact, the bill was tabled in parliament in, before um, that incident came public. And it was before that incident took place as well in terms of uh, working on it and drafting. We have also introduced a presumption where the accused person has made a recording of another person during a, doing a private act or of their private parts. It will be presumed that the person recorded or observed did not consent to the observation or recording. Sometimes there are evidential challenges because you can find the images, you, don't, you can't identify who the person is this will get over the legal burden. And the presumption is that there was no consent. And the accused can then say why there was consent. The new offenses will criminalize peeping Tom behavior, making of voyeuristic recordings, distribution, possession, of gaining ex possession or gaining access to such recordings. Also, modifying any part of a building's structure to make voyeuristic recordings will also be criminalized, specifically. This was recently reported in international media as being a very serious issue in South Korea. The proposed maximum imprisonment terms for the observance, possession, and making of such voyeuristic recordings is now going to be two years if the bill gets passed. That's double the current maximum one-year punishment for the offense of insulting modesty under Section 509. <coughs> there is, I think, a clear need to deter the proliferation of voyeuristic recordings. So distribution of voyeuristic recordings will attract a higher punishment, a maximum imprisonment term of five years if you go around distributing this. The court may also impose a fine and caning for these offenses. So you refer to clause 120. We have also introduced a new offense to criminalize sexual exposure, which is commonly known as flashing. There has been a prevalence of this. Persons intentionally send unsolicited pictures of their genitalia over social media or messaging platforms. That will be criminalized. Penalties for that offense will be enhanced where the victim is below 14 years old. Distribution or threat to distribute intimate images. We will introduce new offense for distribution. Threat to distribute is collo colloquially known as revenge porn. Intimate images could become widely shared and on platforms. May be impossible to completely remove and they have the potential to cause great harm to the victim. The offense will exclude images such as caricatures, cartoons of a 
person performing sexual acts. So lewd caricature of a person may amount to harassment, but not something that could be mistaken as an intimate image of the person depicted. Maximum penalty for this offense would be imprisonment up to five years with the option of fine and caning. Where the offense is committed against a person below 14 years old, imprisonment will be made mandatory. New offense will also cover cases where a person unlawfully accesses, accesses databases or recordings that contain intimate images. That's also in clause 120.